Hi and welcome to Kaylin Dash Tech Lesson 20. In this lesson I'd like to expand on um, utilising SNMP version 3 on an SRX that is running virtual routers or routing instances because it does create a little bit of a problem. Um, let me explain what the problem is initially. You have to, if you want to have information and work proactively with regards to CPU, uh, CPU, RAM, etc., etc. So for CPU, it might be usage. You might have thresholds of usage, temperatures, etc. Same with RAM. You, you know, you're going to have the same issues with that, and you're going to want to monitor that via your whatever your management system is, whether it's PRTG, SolarWinds, whatever it happens to be. Okay. Um, so with regards to that, um, those systems are only accessible from the default context. So given that we don't actually have anything within the default, how do we get around that issue with SNMP version 3? So we don't have an INET0 forwarding table or anything like that. Okay. So what we have to do is we have to create um, logical tunnels um, that I've already been through in previous lessons between the contexts. So we have to place one end of the uh, logical tunnel into our entry virtual router. And by entry, I mean where our management system enters the SRX. In other words, which VR do, is the port that it enters into? Does it exist, exist within? So on the example I'm going to give you, we'll use the Swindon SRX here. And we'll pretend for argument's sake, that this AAA server is our SNMP server, all right? I don't actually have one, so I can't show you it working, but um, I do know in a live environment this works, so what I'm about to tell you will work, okay? So our entry port would be this port here, because that's where the chances are you'd have a load of switches and routers in between and probably internet access, whatever. So you'd be coming in and you'd come in on this port, okay? And that's the VR we're on about, that that port is in. Okay, so let's um, let's have a look at what I've already configured because I've configured up some of this so that we don't um, waste time um, having to redo things that we've already looked into. So let's do a um, let's do a quick um, run show configuration and we'll display set it so that I can show you what we've um, what we've configured here. Okay. So let's get the whole um, let's get the whole order right. Okay. So the first thing is um, we have our SNMP VR that we're going to come in on. So the interface that we're coming in on is this one here. Okay. G zero zero one dot zero. All right. So that's how we know that it's this SNMP VR that we've got to come in on. All right. So. What I've done is I've created two new LTs. I've created 30 and 31. All right, so 30 is going to sit within the SNMP VR as it does here. So I've put it in there. I've also added it into um, Izzy's. Okay, so one end sits there. The other end does not sit in any VR. We need it to just remain in no virtual route or routing instance. That way, um, the default action for a Juniper SRX is to place that into the default context, which is exactly what we want. Okay? So, given that the other end is not in there, we do have to make sure, however, for our policies to allow the communication between that it is within a security zone. So we just make one up. So what I've done here is I've just made this security zone up here and put the interface into it. All right. Now, the security zone itself is not VR, so it's still the default it's in. Hence why I've called it SNMP default. So we've got one end of our logical tunnel sit in our entry VR. And we know it's our entry again because of this interface being in it. And the other end sits within the default. Okay. And that's how we've got it linked. And then all I've done here is I've just created some policies to allow in any, any, any between them. As you can see here, look, um, we already have one from SNMP VR to SNMP VR. So all we had to create was this one. 
SNMP VR to SNMP default, SNMP default to default, and default back to SNMP VR. Okay? Right. So, now that you understand that we've done that, and that you have to do that part of it to get it to sit within the um within the default context. We also have another issue that we're going to deal with here now, where um, SNMP version 3 does not communicate with uh, routing instances unless you tell it what instance to communicate with. Okay, now um, SNMP version 3 was dealt with in lesson 11, so have a look at my lesson 11 on how to configure SNMP version 3 itself. But to actually add the command for the context that you want it to read from, okay, this is how we do it. We just do a set, and this is the SNMP v3 commands, SNMP. So this is extra to what I taught you in lesson 11, okay, v3. So it's VACM access again, okay, and we're going to do a group, and we're going to do we'll call it SNMP, uh, let's just call it SNMP-group, um, uh, context, okay, it's going to ask for a context prefix, okay, now if we do a question mark, okay, it wants the name of the prefix, so in our case, we've got two, we've got customer VR, and we've got the SNMP VR. So we would actually have to do one for both in here, right? We'd have to do this line for that one. And we'd have to do the same lock command again, but with that as the prefix. So the first prefix we'll use then is SNMP-VR. That's the prefix we want to put it in, okay? Then we put our security model, which is going to be USM, as we know from uh, lesson 11. Security level where we want it authenticated. Okay, um, one of the more ideal things to do with version three and the read view is going to be all MIBs. All right, we want all MIBs read. Okay, so we'll do that. Okay, um, I th it should just be the one word, uh, but it might want us to actually. Yeah, okay, so it actually wants us to do it this way, which is fine. It's not a problem. So we'll pop that in there. And that's how that's how we um we tell it the um uh, the context prefix, the routing instance that we want it to communicate with. Okay. So to review that, what we have to do is you have to create your logical tunnel between your entry um, VR, wherever your entry interface is, that your um, system monitoring, whether it be like say PRTG or SolarWinds or whatever, um, where it enters the system, where it's going to ask to read the MIBs, okay, you bring it in um, G001.0 for us, which is SNMP VR. So you put a logical tunnel there, which I've put the first end of the logical tunnel is. Dot three zero, the other end is dot three one, but that does not sit in a VR. It just sits where it is, okay. But it has to go into a security zone. So just make up a security zone, as I have I have here, although make it intuitive so that you know and pop the other end of the interface in there, okay. That will then have that system set up for you for the reading from the default context, okay. Um, to actually get it to read from any other routing instance, you have to do it from or, or tell it the context prefix within that command that I just gave you, which is set SNMP v3 VACM access group, um, whatever you want to call it. I just called it SNMP group, the context prefix, and it's the context prefix that's important. So you want to do one for uh, SNMP VR. And you'll want to do the same command again, but with that as the context prefix and so on and so on and so on. Because that's what the key and that's what the call command or the get command from your management will be looking for. Okay, so if there's any questions regarding this, then um, 
please feel free to message me and I'll, and I'll deal with that for you. Okay, but that's an add-on to the old SNMP V3. I did all this configuration ahead of us doing this lesson to save time or we'd be here for another 10-15 minutes. Okay, thank you.